everyone and welcome to August and um, before I start I just want to say thank you very much to all the new subscribers and um, all the lovely people who have commented and liked videos and shared them. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. This is quite a new thing for me to be doing so it's quite small um, at the moment so I really appreciated that extra boost to begin with. So, um, And I know that some of you are hoping to get readings so I'm going to do the draw to get do the free readings thing to see who wins um, in just a minute. Uh, but I just want to say I might not be doing this again immediately, but I am thinking of doing it quite regularly. So we'll see when I get around to doing it again. But um, thank you so much for taking part and please keep commenting and liking and, and um, participating because it all helps and it just keeps that nice flow of reciprocity going, you know, give and take, which is really, really lovely with these things. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to just go straight into this now and just let you know that I had a look at the videos and if you weren't expecting or hoping for reading, you can go past this bit. So the sign that, did, uh, that gave the most likes was Virgo and the sign that gave the most comments was Libra. So I've picked, I uh, had a look under the videos and there was only one person who asked for a reading under the Virgo uh, video and that's Tara Mills. So there's, you know, it's just you Tara and you've won a reading. So contact me please using, uh, you can use the link under the video and then go to my website and use the contacts page there. And um, so we've got Libras. I've picked the names of the people who asked for readings from Libra. And I'm going to just pick one of those. You can see that. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, Spirit, you guide me. Okay, here. Right. So we've got, I knew it was going to be that one. That's right. It's Sawenika Reed. Okay, so Sawenika, can you please get in touch with me and. Um, we'll um, sort out a, t uh, a reading, just get some questions from you, that's all you need to do is to just contact me, let me know it's you and uh, I'll get some questions from you and record your reading for you and it will be posted up on the channel soon. Okay, so um, welcome to August everyone. Uh, July was a very interesting month, <laughs> as they all are at the moment. I hope you enjoy your reading, I'm going to get straight to it now. Thanks for watching, bye. Hello lovely Pisces and welcome to August and this is your August reading including your new moon solar eclipse uh, reading and manifestation. So we come into the month of August for you um, with the sun in Leo and for you the sun in Leo it's your sixth house that's being highlighted. So you are going to be thinking very much about your day-to-day -day reality, your day-to-day -day routines and how you want that to really look. What is it that you actually want to be doing? What do you want your daily life, work life to look like? What are the routines that you need to start? You know, exercise routines, health routines, um, anything at all to do with what you do on a daily basis and how you look after your body. So when we get your new moon, um, and your solar eclipse, that's going to be the area that really needs to change for you. So we're looking at how you need to change in that area. We're going to shuffle the cards and ask for a bit more guidance. So how does Pisces need to change in their area of day-to-day -day work routines and looking after the body? What do they need to know? What will help them to facilitate that change in the perfect way? Ooh. For some of you, it's a real. It's really about work. For some of you, it's really about you know, not quite doing the work that I want to be doing. Okay, past, present, future, and you know, an eclipse has a habit of um, shaking us out of our complacency and bringing change where change needs to happen. So let's have a look for you. We've got the past. Where are you coming from? Angel of pleasure. Take pleasure in the things you do. So you've come from a period where in the past you were able to do uh, what you loved. You were doing something that you really, really loved and you were, you know, blossoming as a result of it. And this could be going back months, weeks, it could be going back years, it could be going back decades for some of you. 
What it's basically saying is you have had a taste of something that's given you a great deal of pleasure. It, it's possible that what you're doing now once gave you a great deal of pleasure, but it's just not where it's at for you anymore. Whatever it means, it's basically saying you know what it is that makes you happy because you've had it before. This isn't a new thing that needs to evolve. It's something that you need to embrace again, you know, re-embrace. So where are you right now? Goddess of the unknown. A new chapter in your life is around the corner. Okay, so yeah. And it says remove fear and embrace the unknown. So okay. So this, all right, so this is another possibility here for you. That the thing that you've done in the past that you really, really loved, that was really great, that you really am, were able to blossom with, it's possible that this is something that you want to go back to, but it's going to have another dimension to it. It's going to be, you're going to be doing it in a, or you're thinking of going back to it and doing it in a different location, in a different way, with different people, or when you were doing it before you were working for someone and now you want to do it self-employed, or vice versa, you were, you were self-employed and now you want to go and do it in another framework, working with people, in cooperation with people. Whatever it is, it's a new version of something that you know makes you really happy. This is what you're considering at the moment and you're being asked to embrace the unknown. So. The way for you to succeed in this period um, is to manifest something that you really, doing a career, a day-to-day -day job that you really love, that brings you joy, you love getting up in the morning and going to work, you look forward to it, um, but doing it even if it's doing it in a way that you haven't done it before because that will make it more interesting for you and it will make you feel as if you're progressing the progression is forward we always need to be moving forward don't we so whatever this new slant is on it you know allow it to be allow it to to come in so i think this i think my manifesting meditation is going to be great for you i hopefully will remember to link it to the video or it will be in the um on the channel somewhere so look out for that and use it to visualize what you're hoping to manifest this month because it's going to be a very powerful time of manifesting so the future god of reflections okay the qualities you um, see in others are simply your own reflection so there's been a situation where you've questioned some relationships you've questioned some sort of connection and it's possible that this has had an impact on your uh, feelings day to day, on your reality, possibly even your um, health routines. You've, you know, there's been a judgment that you've had um, and there, there's something that you can't quite get over or you can't quite fix. It's possible that this is going to affect your ability to take up the new opportunity because you, there's a lack of, lack of trust or there's a block there. Maybe there's someone that you need to contact or someone that involves going back to this period. They're, they're involved in it, but you can't get over something that was said or done or some, some way that you're perceiving them. But understand that they're only showing you something important that you need to see about yourself. Just take that in for a second. Just breathe. Take that in for a second. Just let that settle. Okay? And I'm hearing there's nothing that can't be fixed. And my hands are tingling. There's a lot of healing energy coming through for you about something in that respect. So trust your intuition, Pisces, because you're all about that. You are definitely tapped in pretty much all the time. So trust what you really feel. And um, just know that there's nothing outside of yourself that can actually hurt you. Everything's just a learning experience. So you're going to be learning and figuring that out more than ever in the future, especially as you branch out into the unknown a little bit more and maybe meet people as well, new people that you've not had to um, engage with before and um, have to deal with things in a new way. It could be that you're a Pisces who's only used to working for yourself and now you're thinking of doing this in this new way. You're not sure what you're going to find. and You've not had to deal with the people, a lot of people in a work situation or being told what to do. So it's, it's preparation and it's saying, you know, 
Everything that you see on the outside is a reflection of what's on the inside. You are about to come into a new period of wisdom about this. So the advice, angel of space clearing, it's time to clear old uh, negative thoughts and feelings. So it's time for you to come into a whole new way of seeing things with regard to your daily work and daily work routines. It's time for you to really believe that you can get that pleasure back into your day-to-day -day reality and it's not always easy. I know we have a big paradigm in most cultures that say that there's work, there's rest and there's play and these things don't come together but I feel that you really need that now Pisces. You need something that brings you pleasure. You need something at least that just doesn't suck the life out of you. You need something that brings you pleasure and that you feel doesn't compromise you either. Okay, so this is really a really interesting time for you that you get to work on that in this month, to work on your day-to-day -day routines because this could be the month that you actually make a decision which is gonna be really, really exciting. And so what's the outcome? God of the underworld and it says, Something which no longer serves you is about to end. So something in your life is going to end. It could be a work thing. It could be that there's a relationship that um, is not supporting that kind of growth um, that's making you question yourself or question your ability to make changes or is affecting your day-to-day -day reality, impacting your day-to-day -day reality in such a powerful way that it needs to, to change in order for you to enjoy your life, your living and your sense of being in your body. You can also find yourself actually looking at new things that you haven't tried before, like maybe if you haven't tried yoga or you haven't tried meditation because God of the underworld, you know, this is makes me think of deep soul searching as well. Sometimes we have to go deep inside ourselves and do some soul searching, some new soul searching in order to get really clear about what it is that needs to change. You don't want to go changing the wrong thing, you know. You don't want to go ending a relationship when really it's your job that needs to change because that's impacting on the relationship and bringing stress there and making it, you know. Get really clear, meditate, something isn't quite gelling. If something isn't quite gelling in your day-to-day -day reality, this is the time for you to not throw the baby out with the bathwater, sorry, that's how I heard it, but to go inside and get clear about what it is that isn't working because it might not be what you think, okay? So that's that, let's find you a nice card as well. So where are we going angels? Orange, I've just heard really clearly and they're taking me here. Ah, uh, keep going to this. Ah, oh, it's not that one, okay, great. Positive outcome. Okay, so it says, at, the ver at um, this very moment, you are sowing the seeds of your future through your thoughts, feelings, beliefs and attitudes. So that's really amazing because what that's saying is, you know, there's that old saying, I don't know if this is exactly how it goes, but it's something like this, our, our minutes make our hours, our days um, make our weeks, our weeks make our months, our months our months make our years, our years make our decades, our decades make our lives, you know. So basically coming right down to this kind of micro particle of time, which is your day-to-day -day reality, see it as more than just each day is not just a day. Each day is the foundation upon which you are building your life, every minute. So if you're not happy with things that are happening in your day-to-day -day reality and it is within your reach to start making changes, remember that that is actually, you know, those minutes are your whole life. They are. They might just seem like a few hours today and a few hours tomorrow and a few hours the day after, but you're sowing the seeds here for the rest of your life. And if you use this month wisely and begin to manifest this change that you're being asked to make in your day-to-day -day reality, then you will create a whole new life for yourself going into the future. Isn't that amazing? That's wonderful. And it's a very positive outcome. So I'm going to leave you with that Pisces, the universe is encouraging change for you in this area. Take that energy and use it to manifest your highest vision. Okay, take care, have a great August and I'll see you again in September. Bye.